But which one you prefer? A hot, hot summer Chicago or a cold, cold winter Chicago? Uh, neither. I prefer. <laughs> What up, y'all? There, this is the YouTube video. This is Growing Up Shot. Mm -hmm. Growing Up Shot. I'm a, I'm a comedian, Ryan Raymond, your host, and my co-host right now is my man, Mr. Christian Leslie. We're sitting here talking about hey. things Chicago, um, weather, uh, what, what are we talking about? You know, uh, celebrities, uh, celebrity, past, present, future, anything, anything all kind of thing. Anything, anything Chicago, Chicago, we're talking about it. But which one you prefer? A hot, hot summer Chicago or a cold, cold winter Chicago? Uh, neither. I prefer. <laughs> I prefer cold to hot, but when you modify it by saying cold, cold, oh, hell no. That's not necessary. I don't need double cold. Um, I've always enjoyed cold over hot because hot, you cannot really, and this is my personal philosophy. Don't come on my Facebook page and try to tell me how I'm fucking wrong. Um, I feel like for my body, if it's hot, there is nothing I can do about that really. Hot is hot. If it's cold, I can just put on my clothes or stay inside or turn my heat up. You know what I mean? But if it, if I'm hot and I'm outside and I take off my clothes, the sun is still going to beat down on my bare skin. So it's, it's no good. It's no good. I can't I can't win. I can't win. Yeah, Chicago I don't know, man. I'm a, I'm a spring dude. You know what I mean? Give me some 65, 70 degree weather, and I'm good. Um, cold is be a, cold is bullshit here, and hot is really bullshit. Like oh, the damn hot is terrible. The damn humidity is on another level. Oh no, the humidity. I don't even. That that I, I'm not even counting that. That's ridiculous. That's like another category of weather. Uh, like one of one of the few times that my grandmother actually, and this is going back away, but in the nineties we had that heat wave, right? And I don't bother my grandmother. My grandmother is uh, almost one hundred years old. Okay, and we've enjoyed a long and fun relationship in my adulthood because, unlike everybody else in her life i don't try to tell her what to do right if my grandmother says she's gonna move a tv on her own everybody else no mama you can't do grandma you can't i hey all right well you do that that's my thing See, because here's the thing strong. here's the thing she's almost 100 years old you don't get to be almost 100 years old on accident no you know what the fuck you can do you done been there through all the winters right i stopped by a house in the 90s, one of these heat waves. My grandmother, she's a depression era kid. She will not turn on her air conditioning for anything. <laughs> she lives in a fucking brick house, okay? <laughs> and I'm not one to say, well, the Lord led me to, you know, I don't, I don't, I believe in the Lord, but I'm not, you know, I don't just say it like that. But some, I wasn't even doing shit on the South Side. I just had time. And some said, well, go on by your grandma's house, see how she's doing. Right. And I'm not one to do that shit. I'm right. not. I go by her house, and we all have keys to her house. Mm -hmm. I ring the doorbell a couple times. She had asked. I said, well, yeah, I key myself, man. I said, grandma, are you here? She is in her night clothes, which for old people basically means she's in a girdle. and some, she's, you know, <laughs> she's sitting there. The house is fucking 9,000 degrees, okay? No air conditioner. She has two air conditioners in her house. Not one of them is on. She's got three fans on, though. <laughs> Blowing around hot air. Cooking and shit. She in there cooking. No, she wasn't time. cooking, but it was just, I don't know if you remember, like, in 97, that heat wave, it was that hot. So she's sitting in this brick house. With, with, the, with the fans on, with a nightgown. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this will soon pass, Grandma. And I, I, didn't say, I didn't say it like that, but I said, well, Grandma, what's going on? 
Oh, it's gonna be fine, baby. Every day, and she's sitting there. The fans are on, and then she fanning herself with like a church fan. And if you if you go to church, if you go to Baptist church, the Luther King on it? right, right, the MLK fan, the MLK fan, or Sojourner Truth. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody righteous the Harry, one. Harry Tubman, whatever the fuck. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And you can still see the staple through the, <laughs> you know, <laughs> no. I said. And, and I tried to get her to turn the air conditioning on. And she said, no, no, I'm not going to turn that on because that's how the electric company gets you. I said, listen, because she wouldn't do it. And I, I said, look, if you won't turn the AC on, then I I, I got to call your daughters. I can't, <laughs> which is my, my mom and her sister. I'm yeah. like, I, I can't leave here. And you sitting here <laughs> in your underclothes, basically, <laughs> and, 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 house. And, 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 with, with nine fans on and no AC. And you, I, I said, I, I'm not gonna be the last person to see you alive, and then have to answer for that. I can't, I, I can't, I can't, man, I can't do it. I can't do the it. Humidity will beat you down. It will don't give a damn in Chicago, man. I remember like coming home to visit from Cali, and it was like it's it's 80 degrees in Cali. And then they like it's eighty degrees in in Chicago, so I'm like, all right, I don't need nothing special. <laughs> cool, uh, it's a different eighty you degrees. You forgot about the humidity. He picked me up from the airport. Uh, I'm like, what is this? Are you fucking serious? No, in air conditioning, you're sweating. It's not a dry. Central air, you're sweating. It's not a dry heat. It's not. It's not. When 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 you hear that, because I know we we both grew up here in Chicago, and so you would hear that's the name of the show. Yes. We, you would hear it's a dry heat as a child. I remember hearing that about Arizona and so forth. Right. And you go, man, what's the dry heat? What you talking about? But then when you go out there, you real, there's no humidity with their heat. Right. So it's different. It's different. It's hot. Right. But it's not enveloping. It doesn't wrap your body up in this vapor of heat <laughs> this moist heat that you just can't fucking escape it doesn't exist on the west coast where it does here you know yeah. that's the difference it's new man it's, yeah. like it's a whole new meaning yeah, no it's real it's and real yeah I mean, they out there and they sh- women out there and they underwear and stuff because it's hot you know what i'm saying some people don't care though. I saw <laughs> when the weather broke after the uh, twenty-seven below zero. I saw some, uh, chick, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw some yeah. chick jogging in um, yeah. jogging in High Park at twenty-seven degree weather, like it was summertime. Um, that's how you catch. They just pneumonia. want an excuse to be naked. That's how and you I'm catch, there to watch. Them. That's how you catch. <laughs> that is yeah. true. Yeah, I, I'm there to watch. Them. I, 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 I'm damn near married. I can't. That, honey, I, hey man, look. No, I, that's not why I'm out there. That's Ron. Okay. That's just Ron. <laughs> that's just Ron on his own. Uh, on his own. And I'm going to talk for Lawrence because Lawrence, Lawrence has a girlfriend. Who, Lawrence's girlfriend. Lawrence doesn't do that either. That's just Ron. <laughs> just Ron You by don't himself. know what I got, man. I'm just telling you. you got, if you out there running by, just woman walk by neck, you going to turn your head? No. Okay, then. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm You're not, just being the man. I'm not turning my head. And you need to know if she's going to rob you or not. You know what I'm saying? You got to know. This is Chicago. Well, okay, that way I will say I will turn my head because I don't trust anyone. Yes, that's true. That's true. She can have, have a blade taped to her back. I mean, I to actually, her back. I, I used to live with my mom for a while, and I would lock my door before I would go to bed. I love my mother, but you just don't know what people will do while you sleep. Wow. <laughs> Hey, you don't know. You hey, don't know. Hey, this is growing up. We talking <laughs> you, about, don't, you don't know. We're you talking about know. Chicago weather, man. Um, <laughs> I am looking forward to the summer because this is whack to me. Um, I, I didn't think I'd still be living here. Honestly, I like really? I, don't, I can't. I last year, I like, dude, I can't take this no more. This is ridiculous. And I thought this we were cool. Wasn't that bad, huh? This La- wasn't that bad. This is the second coldest day in the history of Chicago. Okay, but I'm saying, look, what I look at is the totality. Do you don't remember when we were kids and there would be weeks, Ron, weeks yes. where you couldn't fuck. And I know you remember this because cause you, you, you're smart. You used to do the same thing. I'm sure you did. We would con some kid 
the rest of us would walk with our backs to the fucking wind. Yes. Because there's that one area where the scarf don't get, and it's still hitting you. And it's so fucking cold. So the rest of us would walk with our backs. Yes. And we con that one kid in the walking face forward so they would stop us before we walk in the street and get killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you either play any, mini mighty mo and trick them by lying to them and telling them they are man out. Or you con them some other kind of way, tell them you get them uh, a Chico stick or something. You know? <laughs> Candy always works. Candy. You know? you know, but but what I'm saying is it was it wasn't three days. It 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 was, it was two weeks. weeks. It was weeks. It was, but weeks. It was like it was weeks. It was and like, it was bad. Um, below zero, like yeah, two below zero. But we had it like. Yeah, for like it was two, weeks, like at two weeks at a time. Yeah, and so I, I I look at it that way. If 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 the trade off is, I get a Minnesota ish, and I I say ish because I respect that's another I respect up those thing. Minnesota that's people. I, I, yeah, that's a different level. That's another. That's a different thing. level. <laughs> no, no, because Chicago made the news. It's twenty seven below zero, yeah, yeah. but then they show motherfuckers. They show, the, they show the globe, and they show the Minnesota, and it's thirty seven below. They're, they're like, wait a minute, we're ten below. They are on a different ten level. Degrees lower than y'all ass. How the hell they get on the news? They, this is every day out here, dude. 10 degrees below zero, them motherfuckers are out there in, in Speedos. They don't, it, yeah, it, you know. Yeah, so that, 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 that's why I say ish. Anyway, um, if I got to endure that for a day or two or three, right? to me, I prefer that to the two or three weeks of what we grew up in. Right. That's just, I, I mean, I'm sorry, because it was just constant. And, and, and the school's... And, and here's the, for new parents out there and people wondering why, and I'm just going to speak on it, The why the schools are open. Okay, look, uh, sign up for a public policy class, number one, but I'll give you a primer. Mm -hmm. Public schools are funded in part based on how many days there are open. <laughs> so if they close down... And they don't make up for it in the summer, which you parents want your kids to go on the summer vacations on time. They they don't get funding if they they lose funding, excuse me, if they aren't open as many days as they're supposed to be. So yeah, they they, they didn't close shit when we were kids. No. We we always went we to school. We had to go through it. We yeah, always... I remember when the, the storm hit. I was like, what, five, six? Yeah, like <laughs> don't go outside. It was like twenty inches. Oh, of fucking snow. Wait, no. I, I'll fast forward to when I was. I was but I remember when I was uh, twenty three, and my first apartment with a roommate, uh, grown, being an improviser actor here in Chicago, mm -hmm. and my roommate was uh, from Florida. And we, I was getting ready to go. He was getting ready to go. He was still watching the news. And he started to get ready. He was working at ABC Radio. And he started to leave. And the newscast, you know, was below zero. And they put the warning out. Any part of your body not covered. Potential frostbite so forth. Right. And I said, hey, man, what are you, what are you doing? Where are your gloves? Like, I'm his mom or some shit. But I just, you know, he's my friend. I don't want... And he said, what do you mean? I said, didn't you hear the newscast? And he goes, well, yeah, but, I mean, that's just what they say. And, again, he's from Florida. And I said, no, man. They mean that. That's not... Yes. That's not your grandmother telling Stay you. That's the, the fucking news saying, put your gloves on. That's right. <laughs> like, if you don't put your gloves on, you might lose a thumb, man. <laughs> and I told him that morning, I said, look, by the time winter is over, I promise you, because every year since I was six, they always, especially ABC, they used to have these stories every winter. They would have at least one story of somebody losing an a either a, a a a digit or even an appendage sometimes people would lose a limb you know not just a finger or a toe they would lose a whole limb because they chose to walk from you know 95th street to 157th street oh, you gotta do is wait. <laughs> just wait till it gets warm outside <laughs> yeah this one dude a couple of years ago while i was here this this 
This idiot, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> you don't know what he was trying to get from this girl. It was 10 below zero. This dude jumped on a bike to go to a girl's house. What? They found him. You can find that story. He jumped on a bike to go over a girl. He, his hands and everything was frozen. He had to go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because this idiot That's is on funny. a bike. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> if you out there, brother, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> wait. It's a telephone. You guys can talk. Now it's FaceTime. <laughs> so you really ain't got to go to a damn house. Why? You didn't need homework that bad. You didn't need to kiss that bad. Stay your ass in the house to get at least 12 degrees outside. Listen, I'll tell you this. Every single girlfriend I've ever had will tell you that I am an ardent, ardent believer in as much sex as possible. But. Hell no. Riding a bike, you're not going to get to do anything. You're going to die. You might even lose parts that you need in order to enjoy yourself no, the, the on was, your way. The thing was, he was <laughs> over there already. I don't think he did Wait, anything. No, no, no. He was over there he already. He made it to the house, but on the way back, it just was extra cold. And this son of a bitch couldn't go nowhere. On the way back? Yes. Wait, so he got there. I'm yes. Sorry. He got there. He was there. Yes. He was warm. He yes. was with her. Yes. And then he left her. Yes. To go. Well, she. You shouldn't have gone the first. She don't like you. She wasn't. She wasn't. She, up, like she was. It was a teeny bopper love thing. They probably kissed and hugged, and that was it. Daddy like uh, get off my porch. Again. And that was it. Again. Again. I've never been out. I've never ever. And this is this is the thing. I don't date women who don't like me. So, <laughs> um. Anyone who likes you <laughs> would not let you go back out in those conditions. Yeah. They would not. That She did not like him, and he needed to understand. It wasn't that important. I don't care what went on. You on a bike? In no, that, 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 was, that was bad planning. The first, but I'll tell you this. If you're going to do it, then know who you're doing it for. Yes. If you're doing it for somebody who likes you, then you're not. He wouldn't have been in that situation if she liked him. If she liked him, he'd have still been in the house, you know, and, and you know, whatever would have ensued. Uh, separate room, living room, whatever. But she would have prevailed upon her parents to to keep him there. But she didn't like him that much. That's all that happened. <laughs> How the hell are you going to let... I, I have enemies I wouldn't let... No, that's not true. If you're my no. enemy, you get the so fuck out. So out in the cold. You're right. No, that's shit. not... It, that always sounds nice when people say, I have enemies who I... <laughs> but it's not true. If you're my enemy, then I, I really don't. Out. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm, the only reason I haven't shot you is because I haven't figured out how to get away with murder. So, yeah. No. That's the second time he met... Never mind. Okay. Um, um, yeah, this is growing up shot. <laughs> I grew up... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. South side. Show. Yeah. South side. <laughs> It was growing up shy, and we were talking about the weather in Chicago. Um, <laughs> one of the main reasons I didn't like this, I, I didn't care for it when I was a kid. What? What? My dad didn't use, like, regular lotion. He would always cake my face up with Vaseline and shit. Well, but you have to, if, if it's really cold. I still I use lotion and I like lotion. I can dig that, but cake but, my face up in Vaseline. He was like you walking down the street and a newspaper come by and stick to your damn face type shit. Okay, first of all, if you're walking down the street and it's cold as the fuck it was and something sticks to your face, then that's gonna keep you warmer. No, don't 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 try to be comedy. <laughs> yeah. This is real talk right now. <laughs> This is real. No, okay. No, no. You're talking about. You're not talking about when it was cold, cold. Because when it's cold, cold, you didn't give a fuck because you didn't. You, you didn't feel it. You're talking about when it wasn't because he was a dad, and dads don't differentiate. Dads would cake that shit on your face whether it's 20 below zero or 30 degrees outside. When it's 30 degrees outside, you don't need that. That's not necessary. It's 20 below zero, you do. But dads don't give a fuck because they don't care. You can't, I'm doing that they stuff. They cake and it on. got me doing it all the time. All I winter. Come to, come to find out, right. I had bumps and shit. I had acne and everything. Right. And they come to find out, I was naturally oily in the first place. That's what the doctor said. You don't need to put uh, nothing on your face. No, so I, I, that's I, what it was. I got you. But you're not, it's not the 20, 20 below zero. 
you you need that. Everybody needs that. I dig it. Everybody, white people need that. <laughs> Twenty below zero. You need the Vaseline on your face, man. You he, know, he, like he taking a handful of that joint and put it. Like uh, Twenty below zero. You need it. But what you, I know what you're talking about because yes. I had uncles. My dad wasn't always around, but I had uncles who would do the same shit, and big cousins would do the same shit. The the guys, they didn't test the what women. And I, I'm not trying to be sex, but women care about how children feel. Men don't really, um, or didn't, didn't. <laughs> they didn't. Not when we were growing up. They they just looked at making sure you didn't fall down or burn up or freeze to death. That's right. all they gave a shit about. So if they thought that it might be too cold. They would cake all that shit on, or like in the case of my my uh, my dad, my dad. I, I love you, dad. If you hear this, my dad would dress you in nine layers of clothes. It's twenty degree, but you know he was exaggeration. If, not really. Okay, I wish. Okay, um, it, it, like he would put so many layers on you to where. And and that's how you know that the guys are wrong is as soon as you meet up with one of the female members of your family, they immediately start undoing what the male member did. Right. Whether it's cake the Vaseline on or load you up with too many clothes, whatever it is, mm -hmm. they start. Oh, okay, you don't um, need all this. come here, baby, and they <laughs> start taking all of it off, and then looking at. The person going, really, yeah. really, yeah, they, they, this how right, I do right, it. and they do it. They, 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 this they, how I do it. Though. That's you exactly know. right. You know me, right, 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 right. That's what they they throw their hands. Up. Oh well, you know, you left them with me in <laughs> an, in an attempt to not have to, you, you know, do anything. Yeah, yeah. but that, that, no, I get what you're saying though. Yeah. But when it's that, again, I will reiterate for any young fathers out there. If it is 20 degrees below zero, cake as much shit as you want on your kid because they need it. Uh, but no, at 30 degrees, people don't need all that shit. All right, we're, we're, we're question it. Go. Question it. The weather in Chicago is weird. When is it too cold to barbecue? I mean, that's a personal. I mean, listen. I know how to barbecue in my house. So I, don't, I don't understand no, what you're you know saying. No, you know what I'm saying. Like, like you, you know what I'm talking about. You mean outside? Yes. I'm like, in summertime. It's 4th of July. I'm not barbecuing in the fucking snow and sleep. I'm not doing that. I'm not. You doing never that. seen that shit? No, I've seen it. I'm saying. I'm you, asking you. I thought you were asking me what I. When to be the. Or when to be. What's the, what's the proper weather to barbecue? For me? People were outside on New Year's Eve this year. Yeah, fuck that. Um,. I don't like people. So here's the thing. When you barbecue, you're basically serving up food for other people. Okay? I don't like people enough <laughs> to stand outside <laughs> in 20 degree weather and the fucking snow and flurries and, and, and fight off. No, because when I serve food, I want it to look and taste good. So I'm not... You know, I'm not doing all that. Fuck that. We'll I'll barbecue when there's no snow and it's above sixty. Fuck that. Okay, that I'm was the answer that. we were looking for. You oh, had to go on a rent. How you don't like people? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. No, I'm you not, see that shit? Like what the I hell? Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, speaking of barbecue and the I weather, don't. people. <laughs> <laughs> These people, when it was 27 below zero right. last week, did you see that? They're the out there. No, they had they 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 fucked themselves up by lighting up the damn barbecue grill in the house. Barbecue grill in the house, and <laughs> it was nine people were hospitalized, and they had like a four month old baby in it. See, because they were trying to please people, because they <laughs> like people. No, I don't think they were trying to eat. They were just trying to be warm. You don't light up a damn barbecue grill in the house. If they're just trying to be warm, why didn't they just turn the oven on? They probably wanted to add more shit. They ain't put plastic on the windows. They ain't do shit like that. They just 
trying to be cool. Let's bring the barbecue grill in and fire that bitch up. And they did. And all of a sudden, motherfuckers going to the hospital. If, Nine people in the house went to the hospital. If that's what they did, then they need to never be in charge of children again. Because that's, that's fucking ridiculous. So I don't know what happened to them, but hopefully everybody's okay because that was kind of weird. Man, that's crazy. Why would you? What? I'm going to bring a grill into my house? All right. In yeah. order to heat it? Yeah. I don't know why they had it. They just showed, you know, in the news, like, out here in the south side of Chicago, and they just had the ambulance out, and they're like, yeah, they had the grill in the house. And then um, next over here, um, it's cold. The, the lake is frozen. That's what they said. <laughs> so, real quick, we almost out yes. here. Favorite winter moment and favorite summer moment. Oh. Boy, uh, favorite summer moment, um, 75th Street House, um, 75th and Morgan, I think it was. My, I know a girl lives over there. Good. My sister, my brother, and I got into a water fight with my stepfather and my mom that lasted pretty much all fucking day. Like, this water fight lasted so long that my stepfather gave us money to go down to the corner store and buy more water balloons. <laughs> and it, it was it was, it was one of the most fun times that the five of us had together. Um, I mean, the water was, I mean, there was water all through the house, front and backyard. Um, my mother at one point, we thought she was neutral, but then at one point in the midpoint, she started throwing water balloons at us, so she was on his side clearly, so then there was a clear delineation, and it lasted from about, I want to say, God, this was over 30 years ago, but I, I want to say it lasted from about 11.30 in the morning till 5 o'clock at night. Wow. Yeah, we kept going... We, we were going so much until the neighbor kids, who our parents were usually yelling at, they were like, what the hell's going on over there? Um, so that's my favorite summer moment. Winter, uh, my favorite winter moment would be uh, my aunt, Lanita, and my uncle, Johnny, took uh, me, my sister, my brother, and my cousin Nicole and their and, and my little cousin, no, Joshua wasn't born. It was just the four of us. So it was me, Donetta, and Charles, and Nicole, and uh, we went. It was uh, downtown where you could go snowboarding, and we had those little uh, red round plastic snowboard not the sleighs but the little round right. red things and we did that and we had uh snowball fights and made snowmen for pretty much the whole day oh uh, okay favorite summer moment yes on this in the, in the hood there was mm -hmm. a bunch of guys in our neighborhood it was all guys. It was like the, the youth county jail. Is, is there was no women around for some damn reason. <laughs> so we, but we all like you know athletic cats, and you know I was the youngest dude, and I always got hurt. But all those guys that I grew up with, so we used to play this game called catch one, catch all, and we used to hide in like we had like about six houses, huh? six backyards. We used to hide in. Holy shit. And it'd be like about like twelve of us, and we had to like one person to start, so we had to find people. Yeah, I'm gonna tell this story then. This is this is the moment I remember. Everybody wanted to hide with Dwayne. Dwayne okay. Richardson, um, he stayed in the house. He had he had he's the best hider. Like Dwayne to be like under a car or some shit. You know what I mean? He's just fucking amazing. So it was an honor to hide with Dwayne. So everybody would hide with Dwayne. So I'm like, yo. So um, I was sitting there standing there and they were like, oh, they had to pick who was it. Then Dwayne, like, all right, everybody getting around, like, hey man, hey, hey, they call me Booge. Hey Booge, come with me. I'm like, oh. This is an honor, dog. This is an honor. So we're in there, we playing, and Dwayne was like, all right, everybody went on and hid. So me and Dwayne hanging, and Dwayne was like, okay. We was by this gate, and he said, yo, we just gonna lay right here. We gonna lay face to face, and we gonna lay by this gate. They not gonna see us. And we're like, they can see the, they not gonna see us. We just gonna face each other. They're not gonna, I'm like, how is this, this give me like 11. Like, how the hell do you know how to hide like this? This is ridiculous. So we sitting there hiding face to face. 
like this. And I'm like, okay, they we sat there for 30 minutes. They did not find us. <laughs> They were like, oh man, what what, what boo you Wayne at? Oh man, they man, he with Dwayne, man. Oh shit. What the hell? So we, they were standing right, right there. Way. They were standing probably like six feet away from us. This motherfucker like half spider? What they did not know we were we sitting there, we we, we we facing each other, and we standing there looking, we looking at each other, sitting there like we laughing. He, he. No, we laying on the ground, on the dirt. We laying on the dirt, just staring at each other because we facing each other. But our bodies are laid on the ground. So they are like six feet away from us in the light, but they can't see us in the dark. That's insane. Melvin Bridges, wherever he is, he's a cross street neighbor. He was talking, man, I can never find them. <laughs> Poof, he spit on my back. Oh. And we were like, oh, and we sat there, oh, and Dwayne laughing, like, oh, man, okay. So we sat there for another five minutes, and then Melvin walked to the gate, and he said, man, I gotta take a piss. And I jumped up and oh. ran, because he was coming <laughs> to pee on my back. <laughs> So a pee on my backstory. <laughs> it's a fun moment in the summertime, and uh, the winter. Summer, summer, summer. And the winter is always in the house. Um, always Christmas back in the day, man. So gotcha. me and the family always did it big, man. But yeah, that's growing up shot. Yes. Uh, winter time. We um winter summertime. The weather. This is what we was talking about today, and um. Yes. Yeah, good times, man. Um, I'm Ronnie Ray. Um, find me on www.ronnieraycomedian.com. And you can see everything you want to see about me. And get those albums, uh, Comedy for Flesh, 1, 2, and 3. And uh, No, Out of My System, 1, 2, and 3. And Comedy for Flesh, the full-length album. Get that on all music servers. Christian, tell them about yourself. I am Christian Leslie, K-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. Last name L E S L I E. Type that into Bing, Google, or any search engine, and I come up first and most prominent on the first page. Also, I am doing trainings all throughout the country. I uh, just booked a really big client. So if you need somebody to come in and do a sales training, uh, go ahead and contact me. There it is. Thanks End so much. Show. That's it right there. We out of here. We're going up shop. Catch us next time. Subscribe to the page. Yeah. Ryan Ray TV YouTube. Peace.